these are uh, questions from Matt and Kim, read by Best Friends, uh, in conjunction with Juxtapose.com. Here we go. Action! Hit him right. with the first question, Anthony. What's up, Matt and Kim? Hey. Here's the first question from Jonas Angelit or Angelit. Has any piece of art ever inspired you to create mu music? And if so, what was it? What artist and what type was it? Wait, did you say music? I said music. <laughs> it's, I think we're in Chicago. I think it's music. That's, that's the correct pronunciation. Um, no, is there? I went to art school, and I just kind of brainwashed, brainwashed myself. Brainwashed. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Whoa. This guy brainwashed. <laughs> this, is, this is Chicago. That's how, you, um, how you say it. Dude. It's good to <laughs> um, No, but, but like, what, what inspires us? I mean, top 40 hip hop, obviously. Period. That's there art. It is. Yeah. Art's broad. That's art. And and you guys are more uh, 90s alternative rock. We like our gay guitars, and we like our Stone Temple, and we, you know. That's why I've right. always been ahead of the curve. <laughs> you love your gay guitars. All I wanna do is do things. <laughs> Wait, I, I won't go there. Yeah. Dude, I you remember. Really I kind of remember train. that song. Him missed the entire oh, 90s rock you. movement. The only last quality rock movement we've had. I was in, completely wrapped up, oh, yeah. engulfed in it. Yeah, I had. I'm still I had many. more than one flannel shirt. I had two flannel shirts, one on, one around my waist. Okay? I am so happy that I didn't meet you back then. Uh, I saw your rave outfits. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even talk. Question number two. This is a good one. Okay. When and where was the gnarliest city you've partied in? This question was by Angel, aka Nid Forever. Now I'm taking gnarliest as the best. Yeah. Dude, it's Chicago. It's actually it is true. We Wait, I gotta I gotta just say how lame we are. Because our friends here love to party. There was our first time in Chicago. We have to actually during the party time go in the van, take a nap. Come back out, and the party was still going. Yeah, yeah. And we tried to pretend like, yeah, that wasn't, we've been here. That wasn't the last mid-party nap that we took in uh, <laughs> in Chicago. Say Matt and Kim. I have question. This, I have this question number three from Sam Rigby. 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 Hey Sam. <laughs> if you if you could Kim. Sorry. If you could be half person and half hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. <laughs> Divided at the waist, which half would be which and why? Does that and you really can, you can answer it individually. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's go to the Celebrate Life with Ketchup shirt for a second. Speaking of hot dogs. <laughs> um, except for in Chicago, there is no ketchup on hot dogs. Is that, that is right. There is no ketchup on there hot dogs. Are some That's places. why that shirt was for sale. They'll put a variable like salad on your damn hot dog, but they will not put Some ketchup. places will That's just refuse to put ketchup. We're going to hot dogs after yeah, this. Don't hot worry. Dogs. You'll, Hot dog you'll, you'll know. Okay. I'm gonna wear stuff. this and we're going to see how they react. Wiener head. Wiener head? Yeah. Wiener head. Is that Well right? do you wanna be half a hot dog walking around or do you wanna be a guy like dragging a, a hot dog around. <laughs> he'll be like, he'll be like the end of Terminator. Sam, Sam, you are crazy. <laughs> You're crazy. Sam, kudos. I want to know what Sam wants Shout to out. be. Sam, yeah, yeah, Sam, email us that. Email us what you'd like to be, Sam. Leave a comment to the video or whatever. <laughs> Thank you, man. Okay, question number four is brought to us by Isaac Sarabia. 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 Maybe. Okay, if you could give just one of. What? If you could give. If, <laughs> <laughs> if you could give just one of these, what would you give every single kid in the world? A math book or a pack of colored pencils and paper? A candy bar. <laughs> 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 You cheater! <laughs> oh yeah, that yeah, that's not. Dude, a why either. would they want a math book? Oh, a color, yeah. Well, I think it's funny and sort of in a serious way. Like in the school I went to, where I grew up, and it was always okay. There was only seventeen people in my graduating class. This like, is public school. This is public school. Oh. I went to school in one one building, kindergarten through twelfth grade, and uh, it was always threatened because of budget crap, because there wasn't enough kids or like people in the town to like fund this thing. So anytime the the like the budgets got cut is art department music department mm. these things always got cut and I think like I just think that um, those are the only like the most applicable ap applicable things that have actually 
been something that has made me like I did film work and now I'm lucky enough to do music, you know, and I can't believe they would just you're getting, you're getting serious. I am getting That's serious. Cool. This is a serious no, question. Like so you think maybe if they gave them math books, it might be a good thing because it would help the children rebel. Yeah. And want to be want to create. Is that music. what it would be? Well, I don't know. Maybe. That's what that's what I'm well, getting from your story. I mean, I'm just thinking. That's I'm just thinking that. Keep the kids creative. You know? No. Well, yeah. That's I just true. think that those sort of like um, your problem solving because I think of writing a song like problem solving. Like you start out and you're like. All right, what I gotta do is make these three minutes really cool. That's the problem, you know? And then, like, you make this song, and then halfway through, it gets pretty boring, and you're like, this song isn't so cool, so I gotta solve that problem. How do I make this interesting? And then you change the beat up at that point where it gets dull, okay. you know? It's, it's totally problem solving like math is, but I think it's much more like, uh, you know, creative problem solving and can apply to anything. So, would you, you say know? you would give them a pack of colored pencils and a math book? You just like scratch out oh, yeah. shit in the math yeah. book, yeah. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, y'all, this is the last question. Y'all been great. Yeah. <laughs> Number five. <laughs> Who would win in a fight, Prince or Michael Jackson? The Gnarled Branch wants to know. Okay. If anyone has learned anything from the Dave Chappelle show, it's Prince. Yeah, blouses. <laughs> um, I don't know. What do you think? Wait, via what? Via what eras? You know, Prince. Man. Prince is Down. four foot eleven now. Yeah, but now. Michael Jackson seems like a pacifist. Four foot eleven. Like, okay, no bad music video. No Ooh. fighting involved. Do you know what I mean? Michael Jackson would be all like dancing. I mean, he might be him. hard to hit. And Prince, like, Prince would be quick. a little Tasmanian devil. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. I guess it's, yeah, you'd totally be the wild card, I guess. Like, oh, yeah. Wild card? You wouldn't, you wouldn't and Prince has a guitar that has like Oh my gosh, you're right. And that's a veritable medieval axe. Yeah. yeah. Prince yeah. will go straight for the cojones. Okay, so this is the... this is not a debate. It's no. Prince. It's Prince. It's Prince. Okay, so wait, now is it our, our turn to ask you guys a question? If yes, you got one? do you have okay. If we have time. Okay. Yeah, of this course we have time. This is a hard hitting question. Best friends. Okay. Which one of us do you like better? <laughs> <laughs> well, I like oh, mom God. and dad. Mom and dad. Me or sis? Okay. All right. We would like to say that really <laughs> the person that we like. Best would probably have to be. <laughs> this is a f question. Yeah, I think we need to get an exorcist up in here. <laughs> we're gonna get evil eyes from the one of you that we that we don't fit. Now this is that's like, a loaded that's a loaded question. And y'all are we, we are only we, level playing. We are only one person anyway. We have one cell phone. We have all the same stories. In, in my cell phone, you're kidding me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that just oh. says it right there. <laughs> well, it's just weird. It's just fair. Well, thanks for coming to Threadless. Yeah. Uh, and thanks to Juxtapose for getting us the.